As students settle into a new school year, security remains a main concern for parents and school leaders. Active shooter training was among the topics of discussion today for the Governor's Crime Commission meeting. And WRO's Ken Smith listened in and joins us now with the major takeaways. Ken. And Jeff and Renee, recent school shootings like the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, have state and local leaders focused on school security. We were reminded of just how much gun violence is a concern for parents when three Wake County schools were on lockdown earlier this week because of a nearby shooting. While the schools were not targeted, students and staff were huddled in classrooms. At the Governor's Crime Commission meeting today, active shooter drills and how to enforce security at schools were top of mind. A new federal report shows 93 school shootings during the last school year, increasing from 11 a decade ago. A Crime Commission school shooting task force reported many positive changes in recent years, but one recommendation that hasn't been implemented is statewide school inspections. One of the experts who talked about it today was Paul Phelan. He's with the North Carolina Justice Academy. He says one of the things that needs to be happen is statewide school inspections. He talked about that recommendation not being implemented right now, and he believes that should happen statewide. Phelan also talked about more than $30 million in non-recurring and recurring grants that are available to schools for school security. Another recommendation was launching threat assessment teams that will help reinforce entry points at schools.